I, I think that there has to be growth in order for it to be a great movie uh, sure. or story. I don't think that growth always happens, but going back to Pulp Fiction, dude, one motherfucker in that shit goes through, and, and like, it doesn't have to be religious, that's not what I was, uh, that's not what I was saying, mm -hmm. but one motherfucker goes through some hardcore religious spiritual transformation, and it's Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> he starts off the movie, and he's just like a hitman or whatever, and then the dude busts out of the wall and like fires at him, and you know, shoots and, and misses him and John Travolta with all of his bullets, and you know... Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Please, if you haven't it's seen Pulp Fiction. Fiction by now, Come go on. hang yourself. <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> although, although, that was my bad. I actually should have said spoiler alert. And he spends the whole rest of the movie talking to John Travolta about, like, no, that was an act of God. Like, yeah. I, you know, like he believes, and the whole, um, spoiler alert, the whole last section of the film is him talking to the two people who burst into the diner, and they try to take his briefcase, and the briefcase has the MacGuffin in it, and He's, he gives them this whole big long speech about how like, now I'm going through some spiritual shit right now and I cannot let you take this briefcase because it would hamper my personal growth and like, like he actually does go through a major character change. John Travolta doesn't and what happens to John Travolta? He gets shot in the head. <laughs> repeatedly. I think he gets shot in the chest. Shot in the chest repeatedly. Yeah, yeah sorry. Falls into Bruce the Willis. Bruce Willis does go through character growth. He survives. Yeah, Is true. this a moral lesson that you have to grow as a person in order to survive in Quentin Tarantino's ideology? Maybe he's he's kind of famous for. <laughs> Who the hell growing... knows what teen thinks? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but like in Django, I, I made this point. I wrote a uh, on my blog, GBR Zero Benson. Um, mm. uh, no, on my blog, I wrote a movie review for Django and. Um, Christoph Waltz, who won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, he's phenomenal in that movie. He is supremely polite and uh, dapper and so awesome. Such like a high gentlemanly type thing and everything. I haven't seen this movie, just so you know. Okay. No, I have not yet either. I don't I'm want you to give anything to away because I want to. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. I know. Okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no spoilers. No alerts. Headphones are off. Okay. <laughs> I'm walking out right now. Come back, Zach. Never mind. But Tarantino has a way of if you if you look for it, there are there's a, like a very hard moral lesson. If you don't do what I think is right, you will get shot in the face via this character. It's like this character <laughs> is this way, and I think that's the right way. And as soon as he changes from that, he gets shot in the face. Or John Travolta. John Travolta doesn't go through a whole lot of character growth in that movie, and he's the one denying God and, de and denying religion and yada yada yada. He gets shot. He gets killed. You know, it's like yeah. Vin know. Rames. Was it Vin Rames that was in that? Pulp Fiction. Yeah. No, it was uh, it was MCD. MCD. Michael yes, Parkton. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Character growth, you know, anal rape is not a very fun thing. Mm -hmm.